Hello, I'm Seamus Dunahu of EVE University, and this is my walkthrough for the Sisters of EVE Level 1 Epic Arc, The Bloodstained Stars, Chapter 3, Shadow Puppets. I've arrived in Hatakani, having accepted the mission to talk to the Epic Arc agent here. Uh, Right-click Imuri Asaka, Security Division, Epic Arc agent, start conversation. And Daphne uh, should disappear from the agent's tab. Uh, scout out the drone hive and report back. Click accept. And close. And undock. And warp to the mission. Warp drive. Click the acceleration gate and activate the gate. Let's see, you need to approach the drone hive, which is should be somewhere in front of you as you uh, jump into the pocket. So just left click something over there and approach and hit your afterburner. You are going to want an afterburner or micro warp drive for this. It is some distance away, about 100 kilometers. By the way, you will want to write... Let's see, which station is it again? Hatakani 6-4. From your overview, you will want to left-click Hatakani 6, Moon 4. Alright, as soon as you see this update, go dock. The mission is done. Arriving out of warp, it becomes immediately clear that whoever is handling security has little idea how to fight drones. Battleships patrol on the fringe of the swarm, seemingly oblivious to just how vulnerable they are, without proper support from smaller vessels. So I guess I didn't have to move 100 kilometers. Let me double check that I actually... Yes, all conditions have been met. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Complete and request. This next mission is a courier mission. Should always... It's a reverse courier mission. The pickup is in Shaneland. And the drop-off is here in Hatakani. So you'll be going someplace, picking something up, and then bringing it back here. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time with watching how to do a courier mission. I assume you know how to do that. Just a simple point B to point A mission.
I've skipped ahead to the part of the video where I have already traveled the three jumps to Shenlant, picked up the cargo, and traveled the three jumps back to Hatakani. I'm about to dock up in station. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Alright. Right-click the agent, start conversation. Complete and request. Kill the mercenaries protecting the Greistas facility, then report back. This is here in Hadakani. Click accept. For most of the level 1 epic arc, damage types shouldn't be terribly important. But for reference, Greistas and Serpentis, you typically want to use kinetic thermal. Angel Cartel, typically Explosive Kinetic, Sancha and Blood Raider, and Rogue Drones, typically EM Thermal, for your weapons. If you need to use resistance modules because you're taking too much damage for some reason, you want to tank against the same damage types. With the exception of Rogue Drones, where you want to tank against Explosive Kinetic. So if you're fighting Rogue Drones, you tank like their Angel Cartel, and you shoot like their Sancho or Blood Raiders. Alright, keeping general tips to a minimum. Gonna lock up the enemies. I'm going to try lead. Uh, six kilometer fall off, 14, optimal, good. So I've got a range of about 20 kilometers. Out of County 64, Hyacioda Corporation Factory. And that should be the whole mission. Yep. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Complete and request. Uh, deliver the farming supplies to the storage warehouse. This is in Hadakani. You will need at least 150 cubic meters of cargo space. And if you left click the icon for the farming supplies, you can see the attributes volume 150 cubic meters. By the way, any icon, well, almost any icon that you see in a mission briefing window can be left clicked, other than the icon for money. I guess uh, the EVE Online developers make the assumption that you know what money is. Let's click Accept. And let's shove the farming supplies into the cargo hold. And undock.
The acceleration gate. Activate gate. Click the storage warehouse and click open cargo. The Caldari forces look far better prepared this time around. Anti-support frigates and cruisers flank their larger allies, standing ready and able to deal with any smaller hostiles that come their way. If turn on the afterburner. If these drones try to escape, the faster and more agile ones won't slip past the amassed fleet so easily now. Do make sure you have your cargo hold open. Your cargo hold button, as usual, is right here. Shove in the farming supplies. We're done. Let's get some clearance before we go into warp. Let me double check that everything is... Alright. That's a green check mark. Hadakani, 6-4, Doc. If you forget which station it is, you can right-click an empty space. An economy under threat, Agent Home Base, Hadakani 6, Moon 4, Hayashiota Corporation Refinery, and select Doc. Complete and request. All right. Neutralize every drone inside the quarantine area. Click accept and close. And that's undock. Let's warp to the mission. Let me double check my range with iron. Six kilometer fall off. About a 24 kilometer optimal. So roughly 30 kilometers. I recall there being a lot of drones, so I want to try and kite them at long range. No, you're not hearing things. The game started to switch back to the normal music, but then I activated acceleration gate, so it went to the same piece of acceleration gate music. Scroll down to the hostels, and let's approach and hit the afterburner.
All the missions up to this point should be doable with a frigate. If you want to. Just be smart about how you're fitting your frigate. Click keep at range. I will change this to I'll make it twenty five thousand meters. And we'll keep the closest one at twenty five kilometers range. Stop here. You can right click and remove mission Kaldari State frigate and various other Kaldari State things from your overview. Switch to lead, by the way. Mid range, slightly better damage. I am sitting still, primarily because I am outranging these drones, these rogue drones, by a great deal. Open up the menu on my drone settings window. Set my drones to passive and focus fire. Passive meaning it's not going to take a target on its own. Which sometimes I don't want it to take a target on its own because sometimes it might shoot something that causes more enemies to show up. Abandon, right click, S hold on, let me make sure I select something on one end of the pile here. Save location, scrolling down the overview, Hatakani 6-4 and I will dock Warp drive and turn off my afterburner. Here.
Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Complete. Uh, you are given a copy of the Destroyer Skillbook, which you don't actually need if you did the Advanced Military Tutorial. Let's request the next mission. And the next mission sends you back to Arnon and will move you to Chapter 4 of the Epic Arc. Uh, by the way, I believe the game itself does divide this into chapters. So if you open the journal, Epic Journal, uh, The Bloodstained Stars... Here are the chapters you've done so far, and their missions. This ends Chapter 3. When I start filming the next episode, I will already be in the Arnon Solar System, having accepted the mission to talk to Sister Alatura. In the meantime, thank you for watching.